rounding to the nearest tenth. You may have seen how decimal numbers can be rounded to the nearest whole number, but they could also be rounded to the nearest decimal place, such as the tenths, the hundredths, or the thousandths. Let's round the following numbers to the nearest tenth. Forty-three and seven tenths has one decimal place. It is already rounded to the nearest tenth, so we don't need to change anything here. Next is forty-three and seventy hundredths. It is also the same as forty-three and seven tenths, because the zero represents no value. So we don't have to change this number either. As for forty-three and seventy-eight hundredths, we should round it to have only the tenths place. Let's use a number line and learn about the general rounding rule. This line shows forty-three and seven tenths on the far left, and forty-three and eight tenths on the far right. Why did we choose these two benchmarks? Because we want to find the number with one decimal place that is closest to forty-three and seventy-eight hundredths, and the two closest numbers with one decimal place are these: forty-three and seven tenths, and the number one tenth more, which is forty-three and eight tenths. So, forty-three and seventy-eight hundredths will be somewhere in between. To know which of these benchmarks we should round to, we look at the first digit on the right of the tenths place, and that will be in the hundredths place. The value of this digit will tell us whether we are closer to seven tenths or eight tenths. We first draw nine spaces between the two benchmarks to represent the hundredths. This is forty-three and seventy-one hundredths, and this is forty-three and seventy-two hundredths, and so on. Now we mark the location of forty-three and seventy-eight hundredths. The rule is that if the number is exactly at the midpoint or crosses it, then we round up to the greater tenths value. As you can see, the number crosses the midpoint forty-three and seventy-five hundredths. That means we are closer to eight tenths. So we round up the number by changing our tenths value. To eight tenths, and the number becomes forty-three and eight tenths. So, just like when rounding whole numbers, we can round to the nearest tenth. We look at the digit in the tenths place, then compare it to the digit on its immediate right. If the digit on the right is equal to or greater than five. We round up the digit in the tenths place to the next digit, and all digits on the right of the tenths place become zeros. In case the digit on the right of the tenths place is less than five, as in the number forty-three and seventy-four hundredths, we just leave the digit in the tenths place as it is. And change the digit to its right to zeros. In this lesson, you learned how to round decimal numbers to the nearest tenth.